Hi, this is Mrs. Verbal. This video describes the flipped classroom and it'll give you some additional information about what you need to know for a flipped classroom. Um, before I go into what is flipping, I just thought I'd go over my background real quick. I've been married to 20, married for 22 years. Um, I have three children, two boys and one girl. Um, I enjoy running, I swim, kayak, and I enjoy paddleboarding. Um, the other thing that I thought I'd share with you is I love baking, and uh, one of my favorite things to bake is the breakfast pizza. Uh, breakfast pizza marries my love of breakfast and pizza, and it's unbelievable. Also, I'd like to share with you, I've been an analytical chemist for five years, uh, so before I became a teacher, I was actually working in the lab using an NMR spectroscopy or spectrometer. Okay, so the question is, what do you expect for chemistry, especially a flipped chemistry class? Um, please note that your video lectures that you're going to um, experience are done at home. While you are watching your uh, videos, you're actually going to be quizzed. And the reason why I do this is I want to make sure that you understand what you're learning. And if you don't, we'll cover those topics in class. The reason why I do this is I want to have more demonstrations, I want to do more problem solving with you, and I also want you to do more experiments in class. Now, um, as I mentioned before, the video lectures will contain an online quiz, but when you actually take your quizzes, they will be in class along with your tests. Okay, the question is why do I flip the class? Well, you are the reason why I flip the class. Um, this is a student-centered process. Um, we want to see what you need in order to learn chemistry, and that's the primary focus of this. Also, it's more efficient. I'm not wasting time going over lectures with you. I can spend more time going over problems or concepts that you don't understand. So this is a very personalized education. I'm essentially going to each student and trying to see what do you need to know in order to solve your uh, problems that you're doing. Okay, what to expect with homework? Well, when you are viewing your videos, and this is really, really important, please make sure that you remove all distractions. When you do this, you are able to focus better on what you're learning. So if there's a radio, or there's TV, you need to turn those things off or close your door. That way you're not being distracted. When you watch the video, you are going to take notes. So make sure that you pause the video if you um, can't keep up with the pace that I'm doing. So you're gonna stop it, write down what you need to write down and then uh, press play. And also, um, because this is a student-centered process, you need to figure out the low-level questions on your own, okay? So um, go ahead and Google something that you have a question about. And if you can't find the answer after Googling it, please make sure you bring it to class. Okay, so what do we do in class? Well, we need to have your iPad, so please make sure you bring your iPad with you. Um, you also need a three-ring binder and a calculator. You're going to be using a calculator a lot, so please make sure you bring it with you. Um, you're going to be doing a lot of small group work because um, lots of students learn best from each other. I'm there to facilitate. You're there to talk amongst each other and figure out how do you need to solve things. And I will help you, especially if you're stuck, to move that process along. Um, I'm also going to do demonstrations. A lot of students like when I blow something up, so I try to do that every once in a while just to show you how it um, applies to what you're learning in class. Um, also, you're going to be doing lots of experiments, and for students that is exciting, um, especially when they get to use Bunsen burners and flames. So um, you're going to be doing a lot of that. Also, we're going to be analyzing data in class, so when we do experiments, we're going to look at everybody's results and we're going to see how it applies to the experiment that we're doing. And then lastly, we'll do review. We'll have maybe practice quizzes. That way you can prepare yourself for the next quiz or test. 
So in the flipped classroom, please, 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 please make sure you do the video assignment. If you don't, I'm going to remind you. The reason why is if you don't, you're not going to understand the material for the future classes because everything builds and skipping that step is not going to help you learn what you need to learn. Also, please make sure you participate fully in small group discussions, especially when you're working on problems together because you might have some questions that a fellow classmate can answer or you might be able to explain it better to a fellow student. Also, make sure you have questions about chemistry topics. So bring those questions to class and make sure you ask me when I see you, especially in the beginning of class, so I can help you to understand something that was confusing the night before. And this is probably the most important piece. Try to make as many mistakes as you can in class because you're going to find when it comes time for tests or quizzes, you're going to do much better because um, you realize, oh, I did this wrong the last time in class and I know how to do it correctly.